Welcome bro, in this video I will tell you exactly what I do to become insanely disciplined. So I have this body and that aside that I am insanely disciplined because building this body requires a lot of hard work. I also have all of these things, right? So just sit down, relax bro, I'm going to tell you exactly what I do to develop such an immense discipline. First, this is my system for discipline. Let me explain it to you and then I will tell you what are the three things, the three habits that I implemented in my life that caused me to develop a lot of discipline, right? The reason why I'm going to give you the system that I use first. So I didn't use this system to develop discipline in the first place. I developed discipline using the habits that I will give you and then upon this process of building discipline afterwards, I realized what got me to become so disciplined and I made a system about it. So there is basically this quote, give a man a fish and you feed them for one day. Teach him how to fish and you will feed them for a lifetime. And I don't want to just give you a fish, the habits. I want to tell you exactly how discipline is created and practiced. So what is the first principle behind? So what is the first principle in general, right? They are the basic assumptions, the theories, practices, and all of those things are based on. So let's say math, for example, one plus one equals two. That's your basic assumption, right? If you believe that one plus one equals three, your whole worldview about math is wrong, right? What is the first principle behind discipline? behind developing this skill is basically you develop it by using it like a muscle that's it so i created a system exactly upon this first principle and this system is to start by defining an outcome a goal that you want to achieve that is worthwhile that for you to achieve this goal you will have to do actions that are actually hard that requires discipline and then you create a strong enough reason why you want to achieve this outcome so pick an outcome that you actually want to achieve you can also call it a purpose and a goal whatever and then start small because you are not that disciplined today. So let's say that your worthwhile outcome is to run a marathon, okay? This is one of the things that I do. One of the habits, right? Running. What is the thing that you need to do to run a marathon? Let's say 30 miles per week. Pick 10% of it, so 3 miles per week. That's how you are going to start. For the first month, you are going to develop the identity the habit itself so then when you will go up after the first month so you will go to the loop but before the loop you get bigger before and right so in the loop this is the loop of building actual discipline you use discipline you get slightly bigger and then you make progress by getting bigger by doing something that is harder and then you continue your strength in this habit and you go and you do it for months and years and as you will do this thing more and you will get bigger and all of that you will develop a bunch of discipline so the first habit that i had done to develop discipline is the first good habit that i have ever implemented in my life and it is the gym resistance training so when i started i was pretty fucking fat i was obese basically i hated my life my body everything about me i was extremely not disciplined and by going to the gym and lifting weights so in comparison to running and a bunch of other things like doing cardio and all of that resistance training is pretty easy because you just push weight and in failure for like one minute then you waste for two and three yeah it's hard it develops discipline but when you are a beginner you can still do it right it's not too hard for you and that's why when I was a beginner, that's the first good habit that I stuck to. So if you don't believe me that I'm insanely consistent in training, that's, that's a fucking proof and that's another proof like my fitness pulse strike. So by using this habit, by going to the gym consistently, at first I went for two times per week and then I went to three and four and now I go six times per week and I have been doing it for six months already. I have developed a bunch of discipline. The second habit, waking up early. So I went to this run yesterday. 4.52 a.m. I went for this run on Monday, 4.46 a.m. And this is another like half marathon that I ran a few weeks ago. I wake up at 4.30 a.m. no matter what. A and it's not only that I need to go to sleep early and use discipline to actually force myself to sleep and do all of my tasks beforehand. It's that getting out of bed first thing in the morning at 4.30 a.m. after 8 hours of sleep for 7 hours of sleep sometimes is hard. And it requires discipline to do it consistently, day after day. And that's the second habit. And then the third habit, and the best habit by far, at least for me, is running. So I have fucked up feet. Basically, I have flat foot and overpronation. And it is painful as fuck for me to run. 
every time that I run, I feel a huge amount of pain in my legs, in my calves and all of that. I used to really hate it. And I decided like six months ago, half a year, that I'm going to run three kilometers every day. I stuck to it for three months and then I decided to get into a real serious training plan to run a marathon. And by doing it, I developed so much fucking discipline for at least half of my runs before and I am not motivated to do it. I don't want to do it. And I do it anyways. And that's the first principle behind developing discipline. It is to use it. And for me to run, I have to use discipline. And you need to find activity like this for yourself and do it. And if I can tell you to do one thing, it is to run. David Goggins, you know that guy. You have seen him on TikTok, Instagram, and all of that. He developed such an immense discipline using running and a lot of other men. So if there was one habit that I could give my younger self to develop discipline, it would be the gym. But to develop immense discipline, it would be running. If you want to check out my products, link in the description. There are some free ones, some paid ones. Check it out.